else. How about this one? To spring up or to grow. It's a good one too. You'll relate to this one. To attain a higher rank or status or importance. Yes. To prove oneself equal to a demand. Aren't those great definitions? Yes, you can relate, can't you? As a four life distributor, you know what it means to get up after falling. You also know how to spring up, to meet life's challenges, and to grow. You grow from those experiences, and you learn how to do things better the next time. Are you working to attain a higher rank? Who here is working to attain and rise to a higher rank? Stephanie is a precious fifth grade student 
at Ivy Lane Elementary School said that after winning the bike for her grade, she said, I can't believe it. This is my first bike ever, and I love it. Don't you love that something, something as simple as a bike can help a child get an education, can help a child rise up through getting an education? Isn't that amazing? So, come to the Four Life store this weekend and help build a bike in Bianca's bike shop. <laughs> I've never had a bike shop. So fun! You're going to love it. You see these bikes get built, and you get to write a note to the child who will have it. So even if you only have a few minutes, we will have opportunities for you to get your hands dirty and make a great difference for some great kids right here in Orlando. Now, I want to share with you something. Thank you. I want to take you back. Thank you. I want to take you back and tell you about an experience. This is a long time ago. It seems like yesterday. It was almost 20 years ago to the day. It was September 1999. We just started for life. David decided that we wanted to take the For Life executive team, just a small group of us, on a big adventure. He wanted us all to hike King's Peak Mountain in Utah. We wanted to literally rise together to the top of the tallest mountain in Utah. It's 13,527 feet high. I thought it was a great idea, but I was, I was really nervous about it. I love to hike, but hiking to the tops of mountains was not something that came easily for me, although it does for David. But I love being in the mountains, and I love the idea of us taking on this challenge together. So, I wanted us to do something difficult together. So I did my best to prepare, but I found it wasn't enough. Sometimes, no matter how much we prepare, Uncertain challenges hit us, don't they? Now, the first few days of our trip went well. Yes, we had sore feet and tired legs, but we were all in pretty good spirits. We could see that peak in the distance calling to us. Then we started out on the day that we hoped to reach the summit. Now, as we made our way, I began to experience symptoms of altitude sickness. I was nauseous and dizzy, and I wasn't sure I could continue. I even told David, I said, you know, I'm ready to settle for the peak area. We don't have, I don't have to make it to the actual summit. Well, thankfully, he didn't let me settle for that. He felt so strongly, if we were going to do this, we were going to do it together as a team. Oh, the views were incredible. It was an exception. 
exhilarating experience. I was so grateful David hadn't let me stop and settle at the peak area, but to really make it to the real summit. Now, I've heard the saying that when we lift others, we rise. On the adventure to scale the top of King's Peak, everyone took turns helping everyone else. Isn't that what we do every day in For Life? Isn't that what you do? Yes, all of you do that every day. I want to share with you this sculpture. It's one of my favorite pieces of art. It's a sculpture called The Ascent. It's a powerful piece by Gary Lee Price. Gary shared this about this piece. Two Native Americans are struggling on the face of a jagged cliff. The one above reaches out and extends himself, grasping, grasping for the one below. The one below looks up and also reaches out to receive the hand of safety and strength. Climbing the mountain of life, we learn, we grow, and increase in wisdom. As you and I continue the trek, the miracle is when we realize it's not just about ourselves. It's then that we too pause, we turn around, we reach out our hand in assistance to those who need our help and can benefit from our travels. This sculpture to me epitomizes the struggle to overcome opposition and difficult personal challenges and the absolute need we have for others to reach out, bring us in, and lift us up. We all take turns helping each other, don't we? To accomplish what's important to each other. And when we do, we find that we rise, that we'll rise higher than we ever thought we could. Isn't that what together building people is all about? Yes, rising together. Now, throughout your four life journey, we know there will be days when you do the rising, but there will also be days when you do the reaching. I know that no matter what challenges you face, you will rise to the occasion. You will pick up others when they fail. You'll celebrate your team on the summit of success as we all rise to new heights of success. Now, here's a few lyrics from a brand new song by our beloved Freedom Singers. Listen to these words. We rise for our freedom as high as we can. 